Okay, I'm here today at uh, Wood Elf Conservatory uh, in Elizabeth Park. Just kind of doing a lap around here trying to find something interesting to shoot. Uh, I don't know, I've been struggling lately with ideas. It's, um, it's almost sunset. It's like set so early now, 4.15. It's uh, 3.30, so I'm just going to wander around and see if I can find uh, maybe an interesting tree or something like that. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to try to get a sunset shot with the North Shore Mountains in the back. So uh, we'll wander around and see what we can find. Okay, so I made my way up to the top here. I'm going to show you what it looks like from up here. It's a pretty nice spot. Try and stay out of everybody's way. Just snowed in the last few days, so it's pretty nice. That's a little tough to uh, get around. I'll uh, show you what it looks like. So you can get some decent shots when the sun goes down, but. To get a get to a certain vantage point. So I'll uh, keep making my way around here and see if I can find something I want to shoot, and I'll show you if I do. So I just kind of made my way down and away from that viewpoint. There's a lot of people. In that one spot which there always is and it was some sort of birthday party so I was just kind of trying to make my way out of there for now I'll go back up in 15 or 20 minutes and see if I can uh, get myself a spot for the sunset right now I'm just kind of making my way down the path I was hoping to find some kind of interesting tree or something here um, so far that's not the case there's quite a few trees in here but None that are terribly distinctive. I'll uh, keep wandering and try not to bail. It's, uh, the path is pretty slippery, so I'll uh, keep wandering around here for a few more minutes before I go back up. Some clouds have rolled in, though, so it's a uh, possibility we might get the sunset. Let's uh, keep looking for something interesting. So, haven't had much success in finding anything. There's some cool trees here, but they're not really, you know, like they're nothing interesting. They're just kind of trees. No, uh, you know, neat knots or burls in them or anything like that. And so I guess, Sorry, it's really cold, and I'm a little sick. I guess I'll make my way back up to that viewpoint. I don't even know what focal length I'm going to shoot at yet. I haven't even put my uh, put a lens on yet, and uh, see if I can get a spot first of all without interfering in the birthday party. I thought I was going to be able to find something interesting here, just in the uh, in the trees and that, but. And it's all just big straight trees or little sticks. And the snow's not beautiful right now because it's uh, been melting for a day or two. Footprints everywhere. I tried for a shot of Mount Baker from here once too, but it's... Uh, there's so much atmosphere between here and Baker, because it's a few hundred miles, that it's... Um, it basically just kind of looks hazy the whole time. So I'll make my way back up to the viewpoint and uh, see if I can uh, weasel my way in and hopefully the clouds will light up and I'll get a glorious shot. Other than that, I might wait around till the sun actually goes down and uh, see if I could do like a blue hour type of thing, like where uh, when the lights in the city come on. And uh, 
light up. Maybe we'll get something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's make our way back there now. Okay, so I did manage one shot just kind of as the sun was going down. I didn't put the camera on the tripod. I just did a couple of handheld shots. Uh, not thrilled with the composition. I mean, it's okay. It's your typical cityscape with the mountains in the background. So uh, if one of them turned out any good, uh, here it is now. So what I'm doing now, I'm waiting for the uh, crowds to thin out, which they are. There's just one little family here now. And I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down. And I'm gonna wait for the uh, lights to come on in the city here. I've got another, oh, I still got an hour and 20 minutes on the parking. So I'll uh, just kill some time here and uh, wait for the lights of the city of Vancouver to come on and we'll see if we can manage a shot. Okay, so now everybody is officially gone and I've got the place to myself. And uh, flip the camera around here, you can see that the uh, sun has gone down. I'm just waiting for it to get dark enough that the, uh, the lights in the city start to uh, do their thing and twinkle a little bit. Hoping they'll come on when it's still light enough that I can see the mountains. That's the hopes. We shall uh, see if that happens. Let's just wait a few more minutes and uh, keep our fingers crossed. All right, so I do have most of the place to myself now. There's the odd person that walks up, but uh, anyway, it's getting dark now. The lights are coming on. You can start to see the ski hills in the back. One on the right's Mount Seymour, and I believe it's uh, Cyprus and then Gross, if I'm not mistaken. Or Gross and Cyprus. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wait a few more minutes here and uh, get my shot framed up. You can start to see uh, Rogers Arena's lit up. Canucks are playing tonight. Anyway, I'll uh, get my shot set up and I'll. Uh, show you the back of the camera. Okay, it's starting to get pretty dark, as you can see. Um, lights are coming on. I've uh, framed up a shot I'll show you here. I'll flip around the camera. So what I did, I just framed it up with the, uh, the city in the bottom, kind of left here. And there's a, uh, I think it's grouse in the middle here. You can see the lights are grouse. And uh, with some of that low cloud in the back, or in the, kind of in the background, mid-ground I guess it is, between the city and the mountains. There's Seasons in the Park. Wonderful restaurant if you haven't been there. And uh, anyway, if this, uh, shot turns out any good of the city at night and uh, here it is now.
took one final shot of the uh, seasons in the park. It was kind of a cool shot. There's a tree that overhangs it, and uh, the moon was kind of poking right through the middle of it. So I uh, turned the camera on and uh, put a different lens on and took a quick shot of that. Uh, did a couple different exposures, one at uh, like f8 or 9 or whatever, and then I did one at f2.8 just to get the exposure time down to about five seconds because it's uh, very dark now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make my way down. I'm freezing. It's gone into the negatives now. I can hardly feel my hands. And uh, I'll give you one more look here. If my fingers will allow me to turn this around. And uh, yeah, there's what I'm looking at now. It's totally dark. Moon's out. And uh, this is the conservatory behind me. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way out of here. I'm uh, real cold, I can't feel the Osmo anymore in my hands, so. Anyway, hopefully the video turned out good. And, uh, yeah, if you like the videos, comment and uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Anyway, I forgot to... I can't believe... I can't remember if I said if this shot turns out any good, then here's the shot. So if that shot of the restaurant turns out any good, then here's that shot now. Now I'm going to make my way out of here because I can't feel my hands and uh, the Osmo was in photo mode for the longest time and I don't know. Anyway, hopefully that all turned out and if you like the videos, click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care everybody. Bye.